Controversy tonight over the pregnancy of Lieutenant Gubernatorial Candidate Jane Swift. Swift's baby is due just before the November election, and she says she plans to return to work full-time if elected. That is drawing criticism from some conservative groups who say Swift should stay home or work part-time when the baby is born. Well, these are very personal decisions, and I had hoped um, in the state of Massachusetts that we had gotten to the point where women and families were free to make up their own minds about what was in the best interest of them and their children. The 33-year-old candidate, about to become a first-time mom in October, is also planning to work full-time if elected lieutenant governor in November. She's making trade-offs. She's choosing the full-time job. Evelyn Riley of the Christian Coalition of Massachusetts questions whether Swift's decision shortchanges her baby and sends a bad message. The children are only babies for a very short time, whereas the woman has a, a major portion of her adult life to complete her career. My husband and I are extremely comfortable with the decisions that we've made. We've weighed them very carefully. We know we face a number of challenges, um, but I'm confident I can be a great lieutenant governor and a great mom at the same time. Do you think voters will look at Jane Swift differently based on this personal decision she's made? I think much more important is considering a person who is running for office, be it male or female, what is their attitude toward government support for the family? What do voters think? We had trouble finding people critical of Swift. So she should have the choice to do as she likes. Like any career woman or career mom today, that's their choice. They, they can decide how to allocate their time best. I think there's a lot of other things that are worth debate rather than if she should go back to work.